sometimes a role completely traumatizes you. At least that was the case for Shin Ye-un, who no longer could close an eye at night after starring in the 2023 hit drama, The Glory. This show starring Song Hye Kyo as the main lead became a major success not only in South Korea, but all over the globe. In the show, Ye-un played the younger counterpart of the main antagonist, Park Yeon Jin. As many already know, she wasn't exactly a popular character, as she did many awful things to Dong Eun, the protagonist. During their school years, Yeon Jin made sure to make her life a living hell, tormenting her with every opportunity she got. Not only did Yeon Jin verbally harass Dong Eun, but she also physically harmed her, even going as far as burning her body with a curling iron. This form of torture almost cost Dong Eun's life, as she was planning to jump off a building due to the trauma she endured. Once they grew older, she decided to take revenge, but the actions of the younger Yeon Jin continued to linger in the audience's minds. Through the glory, Ye Eun reached the pinnacle of her acting career. Before her role as Yeon Jin, she was heavily questioning the quality of her acting skills. She hadn't starred in anything as big as The Glory before, so she couldn't prove to herself or the world that she was actually a decent actress. In fact, due to her role in More Than Friends, she started to become really insecure about her own abilities. This had everything to do with the fact that this drama received very poor ratings. During an episode of Face ID, Ye Eun was reading comments about the drama and came across stuff like, the drama is so fun, but I'm upset that the ratings aren't good, and it's a fun drama, but the ratings dropped. She started to get really worried about the bad ratings and replied to these comments by saying, what should I do with our drama? I really can't sleep. I think I'm going crazy. I can't do this. If I sleep and don't think about it, dreams are connected to reality. In the end, she blamed herself for the bad reception of the show. The drama ended up garnering ratings of around 1%, which is considered incredibly low by South Korean standards. Considering that she was playing the lead role, she assumed the public didn't tune in to the drama due to her bad performance. She reminded herself of the fact that her previous work, Welcome, also had pretty weak ratings, only increasing the pressure she put on herself. There came a point where she could couldn't take it anymore, so she broke down in front of her friend and fellow actress Moon Ga Young. Ye Eun opened up about the hardships she faced while figuring out the best way to act and said, From a certain point on, I only thought about how to do this line better. On the other hand, the more I worry, the more I think I really want to do well. Feeling a great responsibility for the success or failure of the drama she stars in, Ye Eun decided to take on the strategy of practicing acting until late in the morning, almost daily. Although it physically wore her out, Ye Eun's new technique technique worked because her performance in The Glory left a mark on everyone watching, including critics. Netizens, as well as important industry officials, applauded her for her impressive acting skills, but this came at a very heavy cost. The role had a huge negative impact on her personal life, as it practically left her traumatized. The scenes Ye Eun had to film were anything but easy, and caused a mental strain on her as well as everyone else involved. During an episode of The Omniscient Point of View, she revealed just how hard these disturbing scenes were to film. She was a guest on the show alongside her co-stars for The Secret Romantic Guest House, who asked her which drama was harder to film. Without thinking twice, Ye Eun revealed it was definitely the glory because the scenes were so emotionally demanding, they scarred her for life. Many of the scenes she had to film involved her hurting other people, which is why she started doubting herself and her reality. There was one particular moment on set that shook her to her core, the scene in which she has to hurt Dong Eun by burning her with a curling iron. Ye Eun confessed that this moment, despite being fictional, took such a toll on her that she had no choice but to break character. Sharing what was going through her mind at the time, she said, it's acting. And honestly, we all film knowing that we're only acting. But in that moment, like you just think, what am I? I doing. Although the curling iron wasn't plugged in and no one was in actual pain, seeing her co-star pretend to be hurt by her actions made her stop right in her tracks. Ye Eun didn't only feel troubled while filming these scenes because once she successfully shot them, they kept haunting her. She confessed that she ended up having nightmares after filming the hot iron scene to the point she could no longer fall asleep without wearing earplugs. It seems like Yeon Jin's cruelness had such a strong grip on the audience to the point they could no longer separate fiction 
from reality. Netizens started seeing Yeonjin and Yeun because they just couldn't get past how evil her character was. Due to this, Yeun lost a lot of followers across her social media platforms. Her agency was truly convinced that her part in the glory would propel her to a new level of fame, and while it did, it didn't gain her the followers they anticipated it would. Yeun elaborated on this during an episode of the SBS talk show, My Little Old Boy. She sat down with the hosts and explained how her role caused people to avoid her, saying, They said a lot of people will like me, so I was a little excited about that, but many people said that they don't want to see me smile and that they don't want to see my face. She received endless hate comments and they really took a toll on her well-being. Heartbroken, she confessed to the host that it wasn't just the negative comments, as people started unfollowing her too. The host tried to lighten up the mood by telling her, that's the price you pay to be famous. Not only did netizens link Yeun to Yeonjin constantly, but there also came a point where the public was convinced that Yeun was actually a school violence perpetrator herself. In a YouTube video, she revealed that one time, while she was on set without the rest of the crew, a citizen was convinced she was actually harassing a classmate. Explaining the situation, Yeun said, it was a prop shooting day, so there was no shooting team, and it was just me, Jiso, and the assistant director. She was wearing makeup, and I was at the moment when I had to shoot for a mistreatment scene. It turns out that right when the cameras started rolling, a citizen passed by and mistook her for an actual school violence perpetrator. Yeun revealed that this really stuck with her as she named it one of the most memorable moments she had on the filming site. Although the glory really damaged Yeun's mental health, she's still very grateful she got the opportunity. Explaining her feelings towards all the praise she received, she said, more people complimented and encouraged me than I thought, so I'm encouraged by this so much. I feel like I have the confidence to challenge various roles in the future, so now I want to expand my career as much as possible. Thank you. In February of this year, it was revealed that she might star in a new historical drama alongside Rawoon, which will probably be less emotionally draining. While Yeun struggled with her role in The Glory, Lim ji Yeon, who played the older version of Yeon Jin, had a totally different experience with the drama. In an interview with the Korea Times, she confessed that she actually wanted the world to hate her, so any hate directed at her wouldn't have surprised her. In fact, it would have probably felt satisfying for her. Explaining this thought process, she said, When I take on a role for a project, I try to make viewers love and relate to my character, but I've never had to develop a character to be hated. And there was a catharsis that came from it. She explained that she's always wanted to play an antagonist, which is why she was so determined to be as evil as possible. She initially thought she'd get to play a villain in her 40s, since she'd be more experienced then, but when she got the opportunity to play Yan Jin, she just couldn't resist. Just like Yeun, she did a lot of preparation to nail her acting for this drama. Instead of mimicking others or trying to parallel Yeun's performance, Ji Yeon crafted her version of Yeon Jin through a unique blend of her own personal gestures, tone, and style. She believed this approach would breathe fresh life into the character, setting her apart from previous portrayals. Although many hated her character, Ji Yeon never received the amount of hate Yeun got for playing the character. This probably has something to do with the fact that Yeun had to film most of the graphic scenes, so the public mostly associated her face with all that cruelty. 